What's up guys and welcome back to Dark Horse Rowing. Today, we are talking about how to practice the hinge with a little bit of a unique twist on the machine that you probably haven't seen before, may not have a broad usage for, this is a very specific usage, and may get some funny looks, but it is gonna be extremely effective in helping you understand how do you close your hips so that you can open them when the time comes to actually initiate the good drive. Remember, if you need to open your hips, you have to close them, and that's what this is all about. That's what this drill is for. And we have an extremely special guest today, a coach, a good friend, man abroad here, John Healy, who actually introduced me to this, is going to join and he's going to help us understand the purpose behind and how to execute this drill. So let's get inside and check it out. So guys, if this is your first time here, this is Dark Horse Rowing where we bring you all the videos about all the rowing and everything that there is to know about indoor rowing and then all the peripheral things that get really exciting off of that and all the little branches that we like to dig into. But if this is your first time here, we'd love it if you guys would consider subscribing, subscribing. Hit that little subscribe button in the corner and if you really love it, hit that bell so that you get alerted every time we drop a new video. <laughs> it's, it's what you do with this. <laughs> All right guys, welcome. This is my friend, Johnny, I'm going to let you introduce yourself. Perfect. Yeah. yeah. So, brief bio. Who are you? Where do you live? What do you do? Okay, so UK based, yeah. as you can obviously tell from the accent. I certainly don't have your glamorous <laughs> accent, my friend. Um, yes. We do have the same stunning good looks, It's though. very good, isn't it? Right. I, I like the fact that the camera is going to really <laughs> help you to tell us apart. Um, so, I am UK based. Um, I am the GB Master Trainer for Go Row. To be honest with you, one of the best things about this was the fact that I actually gained this job, having been one of Shane's protégés, should we say? Yes. Yeah, absolutely. So, dark horse all the way, guys. I now work across the UK uh, with Great British Rowing. Uh, I am here to kind of, kind of impart information and to knowledge onto guys and to really encourage you guys to think about rowing, not just as something you do to kill yourselves in the gym, but something you can really gain and develop from. Um, yeah, again, I owe all of this to Shane. So. so, well, and that's kind of why this is super exciting is because you brought this reel to me. Yep, yep. Um, and we were just playing around with it and yep. we kind of, we already improvised on it, I think even further. All right, let's, let's talk about what's the purpose of this? Why would we do this drill? Perfect. So the main thing we see, especially when we see guys that are starting to fatigue on a rower, is they lose that hip movement. Okay, we start to emphasize that pull with the arms, and we start to lose the leak power across the spectrum. Yeah. Okay, so as we know, the rowing is predominantly 60% of your legs, 30% yeah. of your torso, and then 10% comes from those yeah. arms, okay? Very little from here. 100%. It is not a bicep builder, guys. Really. I hope you know this by now. <laughs> and what we want to really encourage you guys to learn is that obviously this hip movement is absolutely crucial in not only the drive, okay, but also the recovery on this row. Yep. And in order to be able to do this efficiently, we've got to look at falling in to that recovery process for ourselves. Yep. So this drill you're going to see in a minute is all aimed at encouraging that. Yep. Again, super specific, as Shane's already mentioned, it's not going to be something that each one of your athletes is going to work with, but you're going to find that those guys who really struggle to think about the process, about the legs, torso, arms, arms, torso, legs, will benefit from this greatly. Yeah, I, I would put this in category of like buying a very specific drill bit. 100%. Right, yeah. for like one specific <laughs> project. Yeah. You've got, you got one job to do right. and you need one tool. Yeah, you need like this that tool. tool so you go out 100%. and buy it be, and you're, that's the only time you've used yeah, it. Definitely. This is not gonna be like buying a hammer or no. like buying a drill. No. This is like buying the drill bit yeah. that fits that exact size that you need definitely. to get it done. Yeah, and, and the thing you'll find guys, especially with this, is that it is something that your athletes will see benefit from. Mm -hmm. But it's got to be something that's done as a, as a reminder process. Okay? Yeah. It's, it's learning the skill in order to be able to then bring this in as part of the big picture for ourselves. And also as far as setup goes, you're not going to want to be, you'll see it in a second. <laughs> yeah. You're not, there's a healthy amount of equipment involved. Yeah. You're not going yeah. to want have to have to set up 20, well, most people don't have 20 machines. Even five machines is going to be a lot of equipment. It's a lot. Yeah. It's best to probably just set this up with one machine, yeah. move some people on it, 
and and give like a kind of a touch. Yeah, drill, if, if, if we're will. coaching in a bigger group, guys, then we've got to think maybe you know use it as a teaching drill. Let guys observe this. Yeah. Use video analysis. Okay, we've all got tools now. Pull that phone out. Start looking at how our athletes are actually moving. Yeah. Let's not just throw people on the machine and expect them automatically be able to do it straight off the bat for yeah. themselves. And then, and I'm going to let you in on this because we can't use the music for YouTube purposes, <laughs> uh, but. What, where this stemmed from is using the song Sally Up, Sally Down by Moby uh, and every time you say Sally Up, you're going to open your hips. Every yeah. time you say Sally Down, you're going to close your hips. Yeah. That gives you, we found a 3.30? 3, 3, 3, 3, 3 yeah. minutes and 30 yeah, yeah. second drill. So, you know, portion that out for time, uh, but a three minute and 30 second drill, and that just adds some fun to it. Otherwise, we would play the song for you, but I don't think YouTube's going to let us. So, use that song when you do the drill yep. and it will give you like good guidance and just make it far more enjoyable. Yeah, yeah. All right, um, let's get into the drill and show them what it looks yeah, like. Do it. <laughs> so, <laughs> this is our setup. <laughs> Multiple bands, plates under the back end, probably looks like we're gonna break the machine. <laughs> Shh, we, yeah. we just, just keep this one quiet between I, us. Yeah. I don't know if we mentioned, but this is a very, remember, it's just like buying the drill bit that you need for one specific purpose. Definitely. Um, but hey, at the same, to like, to that note, don't ever be afraid to mess around with this. Like, there's no reason that you can't do these things and remember that it has a purpose behind it. It's not gonna be good for everything. It's gonna be good for one thing. Yeah. You know, so if we get one athlete that walks away out of this and yeah. thinks, okay, now I understand what this is all about and why he's put me in this position, then to me, that's that's a win. Yeah. yeah? Okay, so John, talk us through our ridiculous <laughs> setup. Here. Let's okay. start. Let's start at the front. Let's start at the front. Back. So walk to the back. What do we got here? Okay, so as you can see, then guys, we've taken this handle, okay, and we've attached through it, obviously our, our band for the resistance, okay. This isn't gonna be super heavy resistance, okay? We're not looking at having your guys rip in with those backs and really trying to emphasize the muscular movement. As we know, we wanna stack the joints. We wanna make sure that everything stays in alignment at all points in time. So, pick a band that's obviously gonna suit the athlete. The bigger the person, thicker the band, yep. okay? Let's not go super crazy with this one, yeah. okay? Think of this as like a... What you say? This is this is just like a kinesthetic awareness tool. Hundred percent. Yeah. yeah this this is not like the workout doesn't happen because of this band. No, definitely not. Okay. No. Yeah. Sliders set up as normal. Yep. Okay. So we're not into this feet position. Hundred percent normal as it is. Okay. Perfect. The next band seat position, however, <laughs> has been slightly altered. Yeah. Okay. So as you can see. Again, we've looped a band through underneath the seat, okay? All this is doing is holding us in that fully extended position, okay? Yeah. Again, we've got to give it a little bit of room for movement with those hips, okay? So we want to make sure that seat can move slightly, okay? But we don't want that seat sliding all the way backwards and all the way forwards. So somebody would adjust that to, they put their foot in the foot stretcher, yeah. they straighten their leg, and then they set the band to yeah. where their seat position is. Yeah, and again, right. guys, it's a simple loop through, okay? So, Nice yeah, straight for nothing there. fancy happening. Nothing at all. No sailor's knots being used. <laughs> no. okay. Don't think we're clever enough for that one to be no. honest. <laughs> yeah, not a sailor, no. just a rower. We don't Absolutely. use knots. Yeah. Alright, so now, like, I think this is where the crux of the drill happens. This is the back end. So yeah. Talk us through this. Okay, so as you can see, we've elevated the rear end of this rower. Okay, we want to make sure that we're getting the sensation of falling as we're closing those hips. Okay, we talk a lot about opening up the hip, making sure we go to that extension, that one o'clock to 11 o'clock movement. Okay, well, the focus on this is that return back through. Okay, so I need this gravity to help achieve that. Okay, we've got four 20 kilo plates yep. underneath there. Okay, again, we could use these box. 20 kilo plates come out to about four inches a piece, I think. Yeah. So yeah. 16 inches of rise, somewhere around that ish. Absolutely, yeah. And again, Health and safety, okay? <laughs> we're not gonna be stacking objects on top of objects with this right. one, but we're just looking for something that again can elevate the rear end of that rower for us. Yeah, right. so talk us through the objective now. Yep, so as we've said, yep. the main thing is we wanna see that as our athletes are performing this row motion, we're getting the movement through that torso, yep. okay? Now again, a lot of people, as we've driven back, we've pulled those arms, those arms have touched the stern, then they're gonna shoot those arms back forwards really, really quickly. Yep. Yeah. For us, what we want to see is we've got that control as we're leaning back in and through to it, okay? What this drill is obviously designed to do is to encourage that lean back in, okay? Yep. 
Without this, yeah, we can still achieve a similar sort of movement, but the reality is, is that to extenuate that movement and to actually feel it more, this is obviously what our athletes sometimes potentially require. And that's one of the hardest things for people to break or learn to begin is how do I move my hips, yeah. right? Like how does this move independently of my legs yeah. and my arms? And I think a lot of people struggle with that feeling of how do my hips move? Like <laughs> I don't, under, like this, right? My hips are moving, yeah. right? Like, nope, that's your spine. Yeah. All right, so how do I get articulation of the hip? Yeah. And I think that that's what this is really about. So, so, yeah, yeah. so hop, like hop on. Yep, we got it. Show us how yeah. this works. So again, feet going in sliders, guys, exactly as normal. Through. Okay. This is where you need your partner. Yeah. Okay. Your partner's going to hand you that handle. Okay. The aim is, as we say, we're going to extend those legs back to our start position. From here, the focus is on the opening of those hips. Okay. As you can see, the reason we got that band on is to encourage that tension. Okay. So that movement is now coming through me moving my hips. All right. To bring you back forwards, yes, I've got the resistance on the band, but what I really want to see now is that close of the hips. Okay. And this is the Sally down. 100% is. Right? Yep. <laughs> so Sally down, you close your hips, yep. 11 to 1. The swing pattern that we always talk about, hips swing 11 to 1, band is giving you a little bit of resistance, but yep. what you're really trying to feel is the fall forward it's that you get from elevating the back end, Correct. right? Yeah. So extension through and back. Open up the hips, and then the band's gonna pull us in, but we can control it, we're gonna close those hips. Yeah. Simple. Mm -hmm. Super specific, as we've said, <laughs> okay? But try it with guys, see if they feel it, okay? Again, we can play around with the band tension, we can obviously play around with the height that's on the back of there. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I think, like where I love this is that this took a lot of thought <laughs> to, to put this together, <laughs> all right? And, and I think where, like, where I get super excited about this stuff is not many people are thinking about this machine creatively. It's like, well, it was meant to row, so let's just row. Yeah. There's so much you can do here, guys. Like, band on band on stack plates on, like, there's no end to what can be done here. And this is a perfect example of that that John's created. And so, anyways, the song Sally Up, Sally Down. We're going to Sally Up, Sally Up. Sally yeah. down and three and a half minutes of that gives you a really great opportunity oh, you feel it. Yeah. <laughs> to just swing back and forth through the hips. And remember, arms are staying straight, legs are staying straight, and we're just articulating through the hips to create movement. So well. Right? Awesome. Yes. Go give this drill a try. I want to know what you think. Drop your uh, thoughts in the comments below. Let's start the discussion. Are we crazy? Is this a great idea? <laughs> <laughs> Did we just invent something totally new that everybody's gonna love? Yeah, I, I will add to this, guys. This was born on the back of Shane introducing me to nitro brewed coffee. <laughs> so, yeah, <laughs> he's been flying high all afternoon on nitro percent. coffee. Those of you that know me know that I love my coffee, <laughs> and nitro coffee especially is very near and dear to my heart. And we had lunch, and they just happened to have it, and so I forced him to try it, and. New things, I think universes were created. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, all right, guys, so let us know what you think in the comments below. Uh, but again, this is a fantastic drill that I think you should play with and give it a try, see what you think. So guys, thanks for hanging out. As always, this has been another awesome video that we hope to bring to you guys, bringing the knowledge, bringing all the amazing stuff that there is to know about rowing. We really appreciate you guys hanging out. If you love this video, guys, please consider hitting subscribe. And if you really love it, hit that little bell next to it so that you get alerted every time we drop a new video. And as always, guys, thank you so much for hanging out. We will see you on the other side.